On the 30th of January, our church commemorates the feast day of the three hierarchs. The following are some details on their life and works. There are heroes galore in the Christian church, any one of whom could be selected as a favourite. And of the favourites that crop up in private and public discussions, there are three that are most commonly mentioned. These three, who had the remarkable coincidence of serving the Lord in the 4th century, are St Basil the Great, St Gregory the Theologian, and St John Chrysostom. But what made them so popular? The 4th century, with its absolute state rule, provided little challenge for the brighter minds of the time in government or civil service. As a result, the intellectuals, as well as the dedicated, found themselves drawn to the church. The tax collector commanded little respect, but the cleric was a man very highly esteemed, and it was to this spiritual servant that the average citizen turned to for many services. It was quite natural then that a religious question would be brought to the priest and that the controversy would pyramid beyond him to the highest and most respected prelates. Honoured as doctors of the church, Saints Basil, Gregory and John were intellectual giants of equal stature, serving God and man with an equally high level of devotion and spirit. They were theologians and philosophers of the highest order, as well as gifted educators, orators and spiritual leaders whose influence was such that 700 years after they appeared, they were still so highly esteemed as to touch off a dispute as to just who might be the greatest. After years of polemics, the burning issue reached a climactic conclusion in 1081, during the reign of Emperor Alexios, and then only by what would appear to be the result of divine intervention. One of the most highly respected prelates of the day was Bishop Bishop John of Galatea, known throughout the Byzantine Empire for his considerable wisdom and spiritual integrity, a man who had refused to be drawn into an argument which by then divided the Christian community into three different camps in a sorry display of ill-advised but unavoidable dispute. Some of the greatest minds of the church became involved in a matter that was spinning out of control and which posed a serious threat to the solidarity of the faith. Bishop John of Galatea received a vision in which the three hierarchs in question appeared to him to deplore the current disagreement and to ask him to step into the breach with an announcement of their visit and their admonition that the three were equal in the sight of God. Whoever disputed this would therefore dispute God. The elated Bishop John went to Constantinople to announce the divine visitation and the tumult was transformed to quiet accord when this relatively simple solution to what up till then had been an uncompromising strife was revealed. Almost overnight, harmony was restored. A formal declaration of the equality of the three saints was issued, and January 30 was designated as the feast day, celebrating the equality of St. Basil the Great, St. Gregory the Theologian, and St. John Chrysostom.